Here, I'm going to show you how to prevent specific worksheets from being printed. So we hit Control P, print, and here we go. A raw sheet has been hidden so that it won't be printed, and the raw worksheet is no longer down there. We hit OK. Choose where to save our file. This is going to be saved as a PDF, and there we go. Only these two worksheets and not the one that we hid. Uh, let's unhide that, right click, and go to unhide. It's off the screen, but it was there. And here we go, select the worksheet to unhide, hit OK, and our raw sheet is back. And there are thousands and thousands of rows of data here, so we want to make sure it's not printed. But it doesn't matter why you don't want to print it. All you need to know is it's very easy to do with a little bit of VBA. So let's hit Alt F11 to go to the VBA window. And I'm going to show you guys how to make this. What you want to do here, instead of inserting a module, is to double click this workbook. And when you are here, click where it says General and go to a Workbook. And where it now says Open, we want to go up to B4 Print. And we can delete this section now. And this is an event. And the code that we put in here inside this event will run whenever something happens in Excel. And what's going to happen here? Well, when the workbook is about to be printed, so before it has been printed, this code will run. And we are given a lovely little cancel variable. So what we can do here is whatever we want. You want to hide a chart, you want to hide some sensitive data, or you want to hide an entire worksheet like we're going to do here. This is where you can do that to prevent it from being printed. So you can do some really cool, interesting, and complex stuff here. And I show you how to do all of that and so much more in my full VBA course. There's really so much more that you can learn to automate your life in Excel and make it so much easier. So if you're interested in that, check out my full VBA course. I've got a link to it below this video. But let's go with the very first thing we're going to do here which is to set the cancel variable, this guy right here, equal to true. And that's going to prevent the entire workbook from being printed. So if we go back here, Alt F11, and hit Control P, everything seems okay. And we hit print. By the way, you're not seeing a print preview here because there are so many pages in the raw worksheet. But if we went like this, and then hit escape, and came back, then you would see the normal print preview. Then we go to print, nothing happens. I'm not going to make a PDF. I'm not going to print it from a real printer. Nothing happens at all. So uh, this little line of code is going to prevent a user from printing your workbook. However, you do need to make sure that they have macros enabled. And I have another tutorial that shows you how to force a user to enable macros in order to use a workbook. And I'll put a link to that below this video. So if you are interested in that and more advanced things that you can do, Check out that tutorial and, of course, my VBA course. But now, uh, let's go ahead and make the code to hide that worksheet because a hidden worksheet is not going to print. So we go if, oh, worksheets, and then the name of the worksheet as you see it on the worksheet tab. So if worksheets raw dot visible, we access the visible property. So all we want to see is if it's visible, Excel sheet and control space to fill that in. We have some options. Excel sheet visible, then and if. So if we are inside of here, that worksheet that we care about is visible. That means it will be printed. So let's make it invisible. Or raw dot visible equals Excel sheet. And let's hit control space. We have hidden and we have very hidden. If you use very hidden, the user will not be able to unhide the worksheet from the Excel interface. They have to use code or come back here. We want them to be able to unhide it, so we're going to use Excel sheet hidden. Now that worksheet is hidden, it's not going to print, but let's tell the user that that happened so that they don't get confused. How about raw sheet has been hidden so that it won't be printed. That's it. No more code required. We are still going to let the user print, just not with this worksheet. So if we go back here, 
Notice we have our raw worksheet. We hit Control P, and we're going to print the entire workbook. There we go. Raw sheet has been hidden so that it won't be printed, and it's no longer down there. Hit OK. And everything is going to happen like it did before. Perfect. And to bring it back, right-click, unhide, select the worksheet, and you're good to go. Now, there are so many more things that you could do with this code. This code is the base. Use this and build on top of it. Use your VBA and your macro skills to build on top of it. If you're taking my full VBA course, you have so many tools at your disposal. Once you have this little piece of code, you can make it so much more powerful. You can require a password to do a print. You can hide multiple worksheets at once. Actually, anyone right now can hide multiple worksheets before the printing. Just copy and paste this section and change it for the worksheet that you care about, but probably only have one message box at the end. So you could remove it from here and then put it at the end and hide all the worksheets you care about. If you're taking my full VBA course, you don't have to repeat this code. Change it a little bit, store all of the worksheets you care about in a nice simple array up here, and then loop through them. You can also do nice things like prevent it from printing if there's only one worksheet that's visible and it is the raw worksheet. You want to count the visible worksheets in that case. A nice little loop will do the trick for you. You can prevent all the charts from printing very easily using this method. You can do so much. You can show the worksheet after the print has finished using another event. I mean, there are just, I could go on forever. There's so many really cool things that you can do with this. And you can use the cancel equals true guy all over to cancel printing under certain conditions. But do make sure that you, if you really don't want your stuff to be printed, that you combine this with the forcing the user to enable macros code. So check the link below this video for that tutorial of mine, and check the link for the full VBA course if you're not already taking it. And you guys who are taking it, take this little piece of code and make it amazing for your specific situation.